We are celebrating Roz Viren and her 35 outstanding years as the original traffic anchor in the city of Chicago. From paving roads for future broadcasters to her love for travel, Roz proved herself multidimensional, but it does not stop there. Here's how she gives back to the city that she loves. We are looking at bumper to bumper, folks. I'm not kidding. Roz Viren started her career with traffic, but she's ending it with much, much more, a legacy of trailblazing and philanthropy. The reason Tom Johnson has been filling in for Roz for the past few days is because Roz is now battling breast cancer. Roz received her diagnosis back in 2006. I was off the air for three months. I took my three months. And um, during that time, I did two rounds of chemo, lost my hair, um, and everything else that goes with it. Look at all of these beautiful pink people! She eventually fought off the disease and turned to using her platform to bring awareness to nonprofits like the American Cancer Society that dedicated efforts to finding a cure for the potentially deadly disease. She demonstrated to me and others that it's about thriving despite cancer. And she didn't stop there. As a former Girl Scout and mother to one, Roz, no surprise, has a soft spot for the troops. She even made a lasting impact on little girls like Bristol Shoestrom, who describes Roz as... Talented, funny, and beautiful. The Girl Scouts of Greater Chicago and Northwest Indiana wanted to share a message about how much she supported them. And girls can't be what they can't see. And so her example shines through, through her resiliency, her creativity, and not seeing things as obstacles, but seeing them as opportunities. And we can't forget about her love for our four-legged friends. Three, two, one. Roz dedicated her resources and time to making sure animals were safe and in healthy homes with the event Bark in the Park. She worked closely with anti-cruelty and leaders with the organization. They say her impact was immeasurable. Roz has been a voice for the animals and has helped countless anti-cruelty animals find their forever homes. Roz's philanthropic heart is a badge of honor she can continue to wear long past retirement. Anti-cruelty is incredibly grateful for your support. Congratulations on your retirement. We wish you the best. You will always be in our hearts because once a Girl Scout, always a Girl Scout. Wow. I know that's right. <laughs> uh, my mom saved all of my Girl Scout sashes, badges, oh, wow. my little beanie, I mean everything. And I have it in a box, it's an old, I think it says Lord and Taylor, it's like an old, old <laughs> box. And I know exactly where that is. And then I in turn have saved all Sarah's stuff. Mm -hmm. I have all her badges. I mean, being a Girl Scout leader was so gratifying for me. I did it for eight years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I, I would do it again, but I'd never be a cookie mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too much work. It's a lot of, it's intense. Yeah. yeah. Ross, you've done so much, and you've left such an impact on so many people. Mm -hmm. I hope you are feeling the love. Yeah. I, I've said this before, I am so overwhelmed. And for me to be overwhelmed and speechless is, <laughs> it takes a lot for me not to talk. Yeah. Well, I am. The love is just out, the outpour. Yeah. I, I didn't realize. I'm just me. Yeah. No, you're an inspiration. Oh, mm -hmm. you, you're inspiring people who may not be doing enough to do more. Yeah. Just seeing what you've accomplished in 35 years, goals. And how generously you share it with everybody. You say, I'm just me, but you have shared yourself with everybody over the years, your trials, your tribulations, your successes. You're going to make me cry now. <laughs> um, I'm and trying so, not to. And, 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 that, and that is where it comes from. It comes from, uh, I've long said your authenticity is one of my favorite things about you. It you're is also, crying. I know, yeah, that, that's, what, that's what I do. Um, but it is also just your vulnerability and your openness with everybody. I am speechless. <laughs> well, more to come. If we're not done yet. We've got a special guest that's going to be here in the studio to wish Roz well. That is on the way. I, I can't talk anymore. No, no, it's all good. First, we got another First. greeting. Oh, from our. Would you like to? Sure. Okay. Our, another <laughs> greeting from our friends at GMA. Thank you, Roz. Congrats on your retirement. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.